what is going on YouTube it's your boy mr. random now whether you guys actually currently own a crown victoria or you're possibly thinking about getting one in the near future a p71 police interceptor we're going to discuss today some of the hidden secrets that you actually might know or you might not know about the crown victoria guys let me know in the comment section below if you're already aware of some of these secrets or if you actually learned something new like i did when i was doing my research now now remember this is part one uh, make sure you guys stay on the lookout for part two coming very soon Make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video If you guys are Crown Victoria fans or you know somebody that's getting one Or you're a police interceptor fan in general Make sure to share this video with your friends guys And like I said, keep an eye out for part two coming very soon Now a lot of these secrets actually do come from reading the owner's manual of your Crown Victoria But the rest do come with experience and owning of up to five different Crown Victorias in my lifetime, guys. So without further ado, let's get right into the video, and that is Crown Victoria Hidden Secrets. All right, and to start off with number one of the hidden secrets that your Crown Vic might have, we're gonna have to get into the trunk, so we'll go ahead and pop the trunk. And a lot of you guys might not know this, but your Crown Victoria might actually become equipped with a low jack tracking system. Now, the low jack tracking system is pretty much if your car is stolen, there's a system out there that usually a lot of uh, police squ uh, squad cars have that allows your car to be tracked. Now that is actually over here. There's two ways to know if your Crown Victoria comes with a low jack tracking system. And we'll just have to peel this panel away and check for ourselves. See, nothing there. There would have been a big metallic box right there full of all sorts of wires and it would have said low jack on it. But, however, this car did come equipped with a low jack system because the second way of knowing if your car had it is that switch right there that says off it's, it's hard to tell right there it says off and on see when you want your low jack activated you switch it to the on position if you want it off you switch it to the off position but they removed it from the car so two ways of knowing if your car comes with a low jack all right so for the second hidden feature we're gonna actually get in the back seat for a minute and it is right here guys and it's what a lot of cops like to call the stash hole now if you guys just bought a crown vic or maybe if you even have one you guys might want to check this because you might just actually have some drug paraphernalia hidden in your crown vic next time you get pulled over you got knows if uh, they'll bring in a canine or anything like that and you guys get screwed over so all you guys want to do is lift this up this little latch right here for the baby car seat, the anchor. You guys lift this up and see if there's any drugs in there. Because a lot of time they stash, a lot of convicts stash uh, drugs in there. But this one is clear. Now, another place where you can check is right here. In between the seats. See, there's some gum wrapper. All along there. But yeah, you guys definitely don't want that. Check all the little holes right here, all the anchor points for any drug paraphernalia. And then there's one over there as well, what we like to call the drug stash hole. This is what it looks like when there's actually drugs inside of it. Oh, wow, look at this. Just what I expected, always. Okay, so back at the back seat again, a lot of you guys might not know about this, but you will be very thankful to know about this. And that is that your Crown Victoria comes with, you feel that? You hear that? Stab proof seats. Both the passenger and the driver's seat have sta uh, stab proof material. That means that nobody can stab you uh, in the back through your, uh, your passenger seat. And also it comes in as a double protection because if you're involved in a collision and something comes flying through your windshield, it won't go through your body. This is what it looks like. So a lot of people don't know, but Crown Victoria seats come with stab resistant plate here. So a criminal back here can't stab the driver. Or if he were to get in an accident, any foreign objects, any flying, anything won't penetrate. All right, guys, and the fourth little hidden thing that you just might not know that your Crown Victoria has, number one is this button right here opens up your trunk. In case the lettering is damaged, just like in mine, and you're wondering what the heck this does, do not push this. Either way, it won't work unless the car is in park. It won't work if the car is turned off as well. This is your trunk button, but cops like to be very, very sneaky, and guess what? There's another hidden button right here, but that's not just a regular button, guys. No, that button right here, see you're sitting down, that's actually for your gun rack. So what you do is you're sitting down and somebody comes, you quick, see right here, hand on the steering wheel, boom, quickly hit that button, 
it'll it'll drop your gun rack boom you get that and you're good to go let me show you guys actually what that button does in my former squad car it was a dodge charger uh hemi that was my former squad car i'm going to show you guys real quick what that actual button right here does is that it has a built-in uh gun rack the car also features a uh it's a hidden switch just a hit of the button and there it goes and as in the last and fifth hidden thing in your Crown Victoria, that is another thing that you might just be happy to find out is that, guess what? Your doors are bulletproof. That's right. But, but only if your Crown Victoria was made in 2006 and up. That means that your doors are covered. It means if your car from, was developed from 2006 and up, your door in the middle of it has... Is covered with a Kevlar bulletproof material so there's that hope you guys enjoyed that little video make sure to be on the lookout for part two and part three that is gonna come out real soon guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share it with your friends I'll catch you guys in the next one